This is, um, well, first off, my name is Brandon Tripp. I'm uh, going to give you a tutorial on how to install Ruby on Rails on a Windows machine. But first, I want to give you a little bit of background on what's Ruby and then what is Ruby on Rails. Ruby is a, uh, a dynamic, reflective, general purpose, object oriented programming language. It supports multiple programming paradigms, including functional, object oriented, and imperative. Um, it also has a dynamic type system and automatic memory management. I think it's based off of um, Perl and Smalltalk. Now Ruby on Rails on the other hand, it is an open source web framework for the Ruby programming language. It uses the model view controller architecture pattern to help organize programming and ease the development process. It also includes many common tools out of the box, such as scaffolding, that can help make developing easier. It also relies on a web server to run it, and it can be run on Abyss and Apache and many others. Now Rails, now Rails is, all, is short for Ruby on Rails, but some people call it Rails. So Rails is also noteworthy for its extensive use of JavaScript libraries. And then one nice thing about it is that jQuery is fully supported and it's the default JavaScript library in Rails 3.1, which we're going to install today. Now, to deploy Rails, it's typically deployed with a database server such as MySQL, and we'll go through installing that at the end of the tutorial, and then a web server such as Apache. And then, and as far as hosting it, there's many host service hosting services such as Heroku, Engine Yard, and Rails Playground. As far as installing it, well, let me close this. I don't know what's there. All right, go to Google and type in Ruby, not Ruby. I know James, James is going to laugh on this one. Ruby on Rails. And then click on rubyonrails.org. You go here. This is their main website where a lot of information is available. We're going to click on the Get Started download version 3.1. Then click the Windows installer. And click the Ruby installer 1.9.2-p290.exe. It's 13.69 megabytes. Now I already have this installed, so it should be pretty fast. Open this. Click Run. Accept the license. Click Next. Add Ruby executables to your path. I keep the uh, default path for the uh, installation folder. So click Install. Wait for it. To Get done installing. Click finish. Now Ruby is installed. Um, Ruby on Rails is not installed. To install that, go to start, type in cmd for command prompt. Now you have to first type in gem to make sure you have the gem, Ruby gem installed. It's a package manager for Ruby. And we're going to use this to install the Ruby on Rails. So type in gem install rails dash dash include dash dependencies dependencies okay and click enter now there's not gonna be that much that comes up on mine because I've already done this but you'll see you know zero to hundred percent and a bunch of these different packages getting installed um, it doesn't take too long see I only did one gem this time I think it, it couldn't even find the libraries so you'll know you're done when you see your command prompt again. But you, so right now Ruby on Rails is installed. After this, you need um, I think you need MySQL in order to deploy it. It's deployed with that. So we'll go ahead and walk through how to get that. So it's www.mysql.com, and then click on Downloads, and then the MySQL Community Server. And then I'm going to do the Windows 32 bit because that's what I have. Click download. It's going to take you to ask where you want to download it from. So, first, it asks you if you're 
returning user or new user. Well, technically, I'm a new user, but I don't have an account. So I'm going to click no thanks, just take me to the downloads. And then I'm just going to click one of these, I like HTTP, HTTP, so I'm going to just click that and download that. Mine should be fast. I've already downloaded it. Let me show all the downloads because I don't feel like waiting on it. Right here. The MySQL 5.5. I've already installed it, so this is what this is. So once that's installed, click that. And it should open up sometime today. And then click run. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next. Do a typical install. Click install. You might have to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll come back when this is done. Oh, never mind. Probably should turn that off. But <coughs> it's installing, creating folders, copying new files. You know, doing all that jazz. Click next. Click next. Click the finish button. Click yes. Run. Next. Well, I don't need that because okay. Backup. That's because what was just ran from the web I think was done downloading. So click next. We'll do a not for sale. We'll do a detailed just for the heck of it. We'll say this is developer machine. Work on functional database. You know, click next on all these. Next. 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 Now for this section, you uncheck modified security settings. Click next. Execute. Then this should install MySQL Server on your computer. Give it some time. And it says not responding. That's just great. But yeah, when that finishes, you'll be d done installing MySQL Server. So, well, there it goes. It came back. It finished. All right. So that's it for that. All right. Well, that's the uh, that concludes this tutorial on how to install Ruby Rails. And hopefully, I gave you a little bit of information on what's Ruby and what is Ruby on Rails. Um, if you need more information, YouTube's a great source. Uh, their Wikipedia is a great source. Um, thanks. Outro music. <laughs>